All right, welcome Porsche buddies. So I've done this before, uh, but not on these seats. So we're gonna do it again uh, and make another video. Uh, GT2 sport buckets that are in the 997 RS. Uh, my friend Ed uh, sends the uh, sends the Ed, Ed guards to me. So um, this is the bolster protector. I've already done the driver side, uh, and um, I took photos of the driver side, and then I'm you know, kind of doing this on this car a little differently for the journal. Take photos on one side, take video on the other, and so we're going to put the, the put this together, video wise. So I wiped this down with strong cleaner, just as you did it all at once. Just wiped it. I didn't really need to use the brush, uh, and I'm going to just treat it now while it's off the car. It's just easier to do with leather shield uh, to keep it nice and nice and fresh. The leather shield becomes the sacrificial layer on top of this, which is the sacrificial layer. So this is to protect your bolster on the seat. Uh, the car had these. I just wanted new ones, fresh, fresh new ones. So I took the ones off and uh, I'm putting fresh, clean new ones on. Uh, I also, if you'll notice here, I also got, oh shoot, I'm not doing a good job of showing this to you here. Uh, I also got all of the leather repair stuff to start working on the seat. I'm gonna probably pull the seat out um, this weekend and uh, maybe tomorrow and uh, get working on that. Uh, the high torque guy is also um, coming to calibrate my torque gun. Uh, what I didn't realize is that high torque has uh, techs, has representatives all over the country uh, and they put you in their database and then they come and uh, calibrate your torque wrench at your house. They're gonna come here to my garage. So I'll be doing that. All right, so put the shield on wipe it flat and then we'll go over to the car and get you a terrible angle on the uh, install. So if you have a newer GT3, I have at least one video of me fumbling through the install. Ed darn near had a meltdown the first time I did it. I said, Ed, my whole style is to show people like how it goes like in real life. <laughs> He's like, it's not that hard. You should have read the instructions. It's really not that hard. Um, but, you know, it was for whatever reason that day I was struggling, trying to put it in. But that's the real. We all go through that in the garage. Okay, so now that's set up and ready to go. Let's go put it in the car. So first thing we've got to do is get the seatbelt out of the way because you need to thread the seatbelt through the hole here, right? So I'm going to take this off. It's a 17 millimeter bolt. I'm missing the cap on this thing. Let me get a new cap. But man, the interior is really coming together. Notice the uh, Alcantara shifter there. Uh, all the Alcantara has been repaired and restored. Uh, once I do this bolster protector, I do the cage. I did the radio uh, buttons. I did the, uh, so make sure to go check out my journal on Renlist. Um, I, I, it's not up to date yet, but uh, by this weekend. By the time you watch this video, it should be up to date. Um, I'll do a journal update. I adjusted the numeric. The steering wheel is perfected, so the steering wheel is good to go. I don't have to replace that, but I did get a GT3 Alcantara shifter. Uh, I sanded and restored the uh, the glove box and put a new latch on. That was a whole fiasco. Uh, the cell phone mounts removed. The radio buttons are replaced. Uh, the floor mats are in. So, oh, the um, this piece here has been replaced. The other piece on the other side has been replaced. So I'd say the interior. It's looking pretty darn sharp. Once I get my black cage, I gotta text Will and, or not Will, Wes. Will was the original owner of the car. Get, get, but I gotta text Wes and say, where's my black uh, black cage? The other thing to uh, stress me out is my GT3 Touring just arrived. Not here to me, but arrived to Porsche Wilmington. And uh, because my schedule is a complete disaster. Tom's going to come down here and visit me once the car gets here. So um, my friends at uh, Porsche Wilmington are willing to uh, let me uh, skip out on flying up there. Um, so I text Bubba. He's going to get on the schedule. So I should have the car in like a week or so. But this puppy, I got to get together this weekend because Monday we're taking it down to do the dry ice stuff. It's really coming together though. I'd like to also this weekend, um, I think I'm going to wait 
on the, uh, worrying about the polishing part. So by the way, it's easier to just take these off to do the bolster protector. So just take these off and get it out of the way. So then I'm gonna pull this off here. I'm just gonna snip like, like a half an inch off. I don't know if Ed recommends this, but I'm doing it anyway. Just don't wanna poke me in the hip. It's a little bit longer than I need it in my application here. seatbelt back on. So the way to do this, put it in place and then you won't do it backwards like that. You want it flat here. If you don't do it this way, if you don't, if you don't attach it, you'll probably end up doing it wrong and I have to re take it off. So see, that's pretty simple. Fresh floor mats, the floor mats, I don't think they're the right ones that I got, but it kind of works with the whole gray Alcantara theme. Everything looks looks pretty good. So it took me a little longer to do the driver's side, just because I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. There we go. Piece of cake. Ed guards installed. So there you go. Fresh new leather, and this will kind of sit. So what I'll probably do as it stretches a bit over time, I'll just re-pull and then this will lay nice and flat after we get a, a little bit of wear into it. You can see my next project, which is working on this. So, th so that's the bolster protector. Um, go to Edgard. I'll put the link in the description, uh, Edgard, or just Google search Edgard and you reach out to him. You can order them from his website. Uh, but beautiful leather. I would do the leather shield on them just to protect the protector, if you will, because they're probably going to be in the car for a long time. It's not, it's not a easy, clearly not an easy to match thing, and clearly um, is not a cheap thing to put in your car. But these seats are, shoot, I think they sell for about sixteen thousand bucks now. So it's good to protect the bolts. You can see what can happen when you if you don't take care of them. It can be real problematic. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep, uh, keep up to date with the Renlist journal. Put that link in the description as well on all the things I go through to get this car up to uh, whatever standard I uh, decide uh, needs to be. So thanks for watching. See you soon.